Hi guys, a very good afternoon. Uh, this is a, a V450D03 from Walkira. I just want to show you a few modifications that I have done. Uh, I mean, um, these few weeks. So number one, uh, I changed uh, original servo into KDS 9 gram N290 servos for all those trees for the pit uh, side, uh, the aileron and the rudder servo all use uh, N290. Uh, KDS um, Just you need a little modification here So if you have a cutter you can carve a bit. Yeah, don't carve too much uh, try to measure rightly from a left to right and um, the height for it and Yes, it is nicely. I mean um, nicely installed here uh, It looks nice and uh, works nice also. I flew I flown for few times already um, another modification is uh, I use uh, Vwin RC roto head, flyballless roto head, which has no um, support brackets here. It is direct uh, DFC to the swash plate, and this swash plate is by uh, Tero. So what I notice here is um, when I install this uh, roto head and uh, this swash plate, uh, the the length. Uh, for the servo from the servo to the swash plate is is a little shorter so just just bear in mind you might need to find um, ways on how to shorten this part yeah, maybe to find um, a shorter metal uh, stick here for the servo uh, rudder servo I used the uh, uh, rudder servo by Align DS525M and it works nice uh, it is not as hot as the original Walkira oversized servo on the tail part I used the V450D01 um, metal tail it is nicely built there is no gaps in between here there is no gaps it is nicely built and uh, for the carbon fiber blades I use a very cheap Vwin RC uh, it is about uh, nine bucks. Yeah, you can get it from the store. So, folk, we we try to to see how this this thing flies. Yeah, after some modification. So I just put a timing for 4 minutes to fly. Here we go. 